Turning to an I-Team investigation now, a battle over two acres. A Torrington pig sanctuary is under scrutiny for not having enough land. The owner says the animals are well taken care of, while the city says the sanctuary is breaking the law. Chief investigative reporter Sam Smink digs into the issue. Hi, BB. They're the biggest moles, huh? Hi, oh, boobas. Audrey Curtis says she was born to save animals. This is my life. This is what I want to do. That's a Mr. Balboa, huh? That's a Rocco Balboa. Yeah. I'll save just about anything within reason. I will. My passion is pigs. That's why she opened the Pits and Piggy Sanctuary in 2019. Curtis uses her friend Paul Church's backyard in Torrington to house the animals. She also lives on the property and Church helps her run the sanctuary. The need for unwanted pigs just became astronomical. Curtis says she's rescued dozens of pigs over the years, <coughs> along with chickens and ducks, but her mission is under the microscope. I mean, saving lives I didn't think would be this complicated. I really didn't. How many pigs do you have? More than I'm supposed to. So there's rules around that or? With land wise, yes. For almost two years, the city of Torrington has ordered the sanctuary to cease and desist operations. The city zoning officer says Curtis and the sanctuary are violating the law because they're keeping farm animals for a business on property having less than three acres. Curtis says the land she uses is only about an acre and a quarter. I think that's not enough space. And according to the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries, the minimum should be one acre per two pigs. Zilla Catamello with Desmond's Army, a group of animal law advocates, says the sanctuary may have good intentions, but rules are rules. They require space, period. And it's also, you know, a health and safety issue for your surrounding neighbors. <laughs> Since May 2021, the city has fined Pits and Piggies $150 a day for operating. By our calculations, that's about $69,000. They are asking a judge to close down the sanctuary. Why don't you just comply with their rules? What would happen to these animals' lives that I saved? I'm sure there are sanctuaries that take other, you know, that will take pigs. Curtis says she's in the process of trying to purchase the land next door. She says she's been working on the deal for the last couple weeks. She also says she's had previous land deals fall through. The sanctuary and the city will meet in court in a few weeks. A lawyer for the city said they cannot comment on pending litigation. What's going to happen if they do close me? What happens to these animals? The Pits and Piggy Sanctuary is not an official tax exempt charity, according to IRS or state records. Although in the past, through her Facebook page, Curtis has asked for financial support for the animals for things like feed, straw bales, or medical bills. But she tells us she is no longer soliciting funds. With the I-Team, I'm Sam Smink, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.